So step one in the five-step studying process is pre-reading, mastering the scope and stimulating your interest. So the only thing uh, better than getting this kind of experience uh, handed to you uh, in terms of teaching how to study is actually following the advice. If you are the motivated pre-med student, I think you are, and you apply this to your study habits and form your habits early, now you're going to save yourself a lot of grief, a lot of time, and raise your scores. So pre-reading doesn't just mean read the chapter before you go uh, to the lecture. Well, it's that's part of it. Um, you're going to do things here that you probably don't already do, which is why you're listening. So, of course, you're going to preview the chapters that are going to be covered in upcoming lectures. So this is the motivated student that does kind of this thing already, but I'm going to give you some tips that not every student does, even those that pre-read the chapters. For example, looking at the objectives uh, that the professor writes down for the lecture, or at least the course, ahead of time to understand the, the um, scope of what they're going to try to get you to learn and recite on the undergraduate exams. Of course, these objectives uh, for the MCAT kind of get blown out of the window because they want you to know everything and be able to piece together information. So it's rather insane. Um, but still, uh, there is bibliographic information in the text and whatever notes you got in your hands on. It's important to know how old your book is. Keep Start start noticing the authors because you'll see some of them are repeated occasionally. Some of these authors have written in the past questions for the MCAT or for shelf exams or USMLE uh, exams to come later. So it's nice to know the credibility and validity of the uh, source that you're looking at and that kind of familiarity starts right now. So, also, um, in addition to previewing the chapters, the bold-faced words, chapter titles, etc., that you're going to be covering, you want to read a few of the practice questions from a review source before you even go to the lecture, just to understand the depth of the information you're going to be required to understand. And then you'll begin to formulate uh, your own questions uh, whether it's about the scope or if you're going to have to memorize this chart or this biochemistry pathway um, or if something is practically related to your life or uh, family members had a disease similar to that. If there's any kind of way you can find an anchor to stimulate personal interest in the subject, you're going to be able to put that into long-term memory automatically without trying. It's going to be much easier when you get to the review process. Many people make up stories or acronyms or sayings, but if you can make them the stories or whatever, true stories, uh, search for truth and you'll have personal interest. You'll have long-term memory without trying. So those things involve step one in the pre-reading process. This is before you've ever gone to the lecture. Step two is about lectures, the human emphasis, audio, video, or live. To get your copy of the Medical Mastery Mind Map, outlining the entire medical education process, visit medicalmastery.com and sign up for my free ebook.